Good morning, everyone. I believe this is the 6th of December. If it's not, hallelujah. It's still Pastor Tim from First Son of God in Burlington, Kansas, and it is still Friday. And I want to encourage you that if you do not have a home church in Burlington, Kansas, Coffee County, I'd love to invite you to be our guest on Sunday morning at 1030 on the corner of 9th and Yuba. Um, we'd love to have you. Uh, we're just continuing on speaking through uh, the, the series God Leads. And I just want to encourage you to come be a part. We'd love to have you. So God will do whatever it takes to get the message to you. He will make the message something that will speak to your heart. What gets your attention may be radically different than what gets my attention. How do I know that it's really from God? Listen, it will not contradict the Bible. If it allows you to do what you really want to do, be wary, be concerned. So what's the key, key question? Key question to ask if God is really speaking. If not, are you certified? If not, it's not, are you certified, but are you seeking? Matthew 2, 1 and 2, it talks about the Magi seeking the star. They are seeking the king by the words and by their action, their trip. By certified, I mean those who have a religious pedigree and know that all the religious stuff. You know, people who have the official uh, AG, fi official Christian papers saying, I am a Christian. The fact is that sometimes we have to understand that it's not about what we carry in our wallet, but who we are directly connected with. Do you understand that? The question isn't whether he is willing to draw, willing to draw, but whether you are willing to come. In fact, drawing means, hey, come this way. You, I'm going to come to you. But to come, you move this way. It's a direction. John 4.23, Jesus says that when someone comes to worship the Father in spirit and in truth, that's a worshiper that God seeks. Sometimes we within the church want our church to grow, but we re really only want people to start attending who look like us and talk like us and live like us. God lo loves variety. Just look at all the different types of people he created. God doesn't want his church to be homogeneous. He wants a variety. God is a master of weaving desperate desperate elements into something beautiful what I, when i what i say say seeking i mean that you want to be you want him to be in your life you want to receive his wisdom you want to walk with him and be changed by him when i when i say seeking i don't mean that you want him to rubber stamp you what you've already decided to so Decided so you won't feel guilty about it. If you're generally seeking Him, He will meet you where you are, no matter where that is. So here's God's goal for you. For you to bow down to, to the King. See, the whole story and, and the Magi was when they, they finally found Jesus the, where He was. Verse 11 says they bowed down and worshipped Him. See, the religious leaders... The religious leaders from Jerusalem didn't do that. The scribes from Jerusalem didn't do that. The scholars that didn't do that. Instead, some astrologers from out, out west did. Why? Because they were willing. They were willing to seek his face. They were willing to follow after Christ. They were willing to get out of their comfort zone and find the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So the question I have for you are you. Are you willing to get out of your comfort zone? Are you willing to say, God, I need you? And, and, and you might say, well, I'm not, I'm not a religious person. It's really not about religion, my friends. It's about a relationship between him, you and Christ. You say, uh, um, but you keep on talking about coming to Christ. The Bible says, do not forsake the fellowshipping uh, uh, with other believers or gathering with other believers. That is, is to help you as much as to help the other person. It's to encourage one another. I, I have the opportunity many times through uh, in my community that I get to connect with a lot of people who may not come to my church, 
who may come to my church. I'd love that. But I had the opportunity. The fact is, we choose in our life how we react or act to the calling or to the what God is telling us to do. We have that choice every day. So the choice is really up to you. So let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. Encourage their heart, Lord, I pray in your name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great Friday. Hope to see you on Sunday, 1030, corner of 9th and Yuba in Burlington, Kansas. Have a great rest of your day.